In the last 20 years, registered manicures have grown by 345%. I read that in the J Immigrant Health Journal. In Forbes, I read that the average nail technician makes $475 in a 35 hour week. Today, I would like to demonstrate how to do nail art. My favorite nail art is when you do the white tips with a little flower in the corner. And I'm gonna demonstrate how you can do that at home, on your own, cheap and inexpensive. We're gonna specifically teach you how to do the white tip, how to take a Q-tip and nail polish remover to touch up the tips to make them look neater and cleaner. And then we're gonna use a nail art pen to do the flower and a toothpick to accentuate the petals and then put a top coat, a clear coat, on it. So first we're gonna start with all of our elements, which you will need nail polish remover, a nail art pen, white nail polish, clear top coat, and a Q-tip and a toothpick. So first we're gonna do the tips and you're gonna need your white polish now first what you do, you want to make sure you don't have a lot of polish on your brush. You want it very thin because you don't want it to turn out clumpy and you don't want it to turn out thick. And you want to try to only do one coat. So first you only paint the tip. And you don't have to worry about being perfect because we're going to use the Q-tip and nail polish to help straighten it out and then you let it dry for a minute. Next we're going to move on to straighten it up with the polish and the Q-tip. What you need to do is pour about, since we're only going to be doing one nail, I'd say only pour about a quarter into the cap just so you don't spill it. If you're going to do your whole nails, I'd usually probably use half a cap. Now you take your Q-tip and you dip it into the nail polish remover and you take the nail and then you just go along it just to help straighten it out. And what this does, it just makes it look neater and cleaner, just like that. Next, we're going to move on how to do the flower. To do the flower, we're gonna need the nail art pen and our toothpick. What you first do is you decide which corner you want it in. It really doesn't matter, it's preference. And what you want to do is put five dots in a circle. And with the dots, you don't want them touching, but you want them close together. So five dots in a circle, just like that. And then you want to click, quickly go to the next step so it doesn't dry. You take your toothpick, and in the middle of each dot, you just put it in the middle and just drag it inward. And you want to do this quickly because if it dries, you'll just take the whole petal with you. And you can go through it a second time because sometimes it doesn't get the whole petal. And then you want to let it dry for a minute before we go ahead and put our last step, which is our top coat. And I did read something interesting in Vogue. It said that Hollywood women in Hollywood pay as little as $150 to get a 3D art manicure. Now this isn't 3D art, but it is something that's inexpensive and something you can do at home. So we're gonna go to our last <coughs> step, which is putting on the top coat. If I can get this thing. And with the top coat, you always have to go fast and you can only put it on one time because if you do it continuous times, it'll smear it. And that is our last and final step. So this process does not take long. This is something inexpensive you can do at home and it looks just as beautiful as the salons. So for fast and easy nails, what you want to do is start with the tips, do the white polish, Take a Q-tip and nail polish remover to touch up the edges. And then take your nail art pen to make the flower. You want to take your toothpick to accentuate the petals. And then just put your top coat on. What I find really great about this is it's something that you can do on both short 
and long nails. It's really fast and easy. Also, it's you could do it by yourself, but I would suggest having a friend because I can do my left hand just fine, but when it comes to the right hand, I'm only right-handed. So it's something you can do with your friends, have a girls' night, do your nails. And once you've been doing it for a while, you get a little creative and you start, you can get creative and start practicing with lots of new ways to do your nails.